Time to do some more tuning. So, had a couple pieces of quarter inch scrap plate, cut out a couple rings. <clears throat> this one is, uh, I meant it to be six and a quarter, came out six and an eighth. This one is six and a half. Took some scraps of quarter inch rod, wall them down around the other side. Kind of like Russian nesting dolls. And those legs will drop down inside of the current restriction. And if I feel, if, if my clogging problem goes away, I can reach down in there, hook this one, slide it out, and try the six and a half. If it doesn't work, it's easy enough to slip this one right back in, and I can probably do that without removing the whole char bed. So let's get that thrown in there and try for a drive home, see how it does now. The char bed is emptied out right down to the restriction. We got our new two piece removable. Set that right on top of the old restriction. Now I've got this bucket. This is all the charcoal that I dug out. Wish I would have had a pouring bucket, but it'll work. I'll throw it back in. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to turn my blowers on so it sucks all that dust out of there. Okay, maybe the majority of the dust. My blowers don't sound too happy right now. Almost time to tear them apart and clean them. So we're not quite up to the nozzles, but you know, like I said, that's the amount of charcoal that I took out. So uh, above that, I still had, you know, charred wood, but not good quality charcoal. So pretty handy when you're uh, cleaning out your truck every day from it clogging up because you have bags of charcoal laying around everywhere. How's that look? You guys can see better than me. Ugh. Dusty. We're just up above the nozzles right now. I'm not ready to light up yet. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a wormhole going. Give the grate a good shaking. Now I'm gonna clean up my lid and we'll be ready to light up and head for home. Since I got the hopper opened up, I need to get my uh, upper gutter guard clean. This is the underside. You can see all the baked on tar. It's pretty solidified. There's really no easy way to get it off. But on the other side, it's kind of got an umbrella shape where it humps up right here. And this is the opening where I fill the wood. And all these little wood scraps, they always fill up on here and it kind of inhibits the flow to get rid of the condensate. Up here it's not as baked on. So I just go through and occasionally scrape it down and break razor blades apparently. Need to find a better scraper. This should do the trick. Not fun cleaning it by any means, but it screws up my hopper flow, so it does need to be cleaned. Last time I was able to burn this off, but I'm at work. I can't cause that much smoke. I already had the fire department show up once for my truck. I prefer not to do that again. I have wondered if I could just throw this right in the fire. It's got tar in it, which is potential fuel. But I think I'm making enough power as it is. I don't really need to worry about harvesting the tar.
maybe down the road. Right now, I just need the truck to be as reliable as possible with fuel prices being the way they are. I should just build another one of these and have it sitting, waiting. Every time I have the hopper open, swap in the new one, clean the old one, and have it ready for next time. I don't have any barrel lids that I can make one out of right now. There we go. Now that's ready to go back in. Now to reassemble. Got our gutter guard that we just cleaned up. Set it back down in place. Since that lid off, good time to grease the seal. This just keeps, uh, well, first off, it'll seal up the hopper quicker than waiting for the tar to do it. But also, if I need to take the lid off anytime soon, it'll keep the gasket from sticking on it. Make sure our gasket's in there all the way. Start hanging the springs back on. As long as I'm here and I got the grease gun, might as well grease this gasket up. Now you guys can see where the gutter guard sits in here, so any condensation that lands on the lid, drip down, run over into the gutter. Might as well leave the lid off since we'll be leaving here and lighten up in just a minute. Yummy. Time to light up for the day.
threw in all the charred wood <clears throat> that I pulled out of the char bed first. Threw another bag in, let it start warming up. Been about two minutes, starting to get some haze up from under the truck. See how well our gas quality is doing. Not quite there yet. New char bed, so it's okay. Give it a couple more minutes to warm up. In about two more minutes. A little bit of vapor with it, but it's staying lit. Just about warmed up enough to run the engine on. And we're back to cruising on wood. Cruising about 40. Vacuum's about 3 to 1. It's a little bit too tight. I put too many fines in the char bed. That's alright. Here I'll do a quick switch back to gasoline. And show you guys what it's like to switch back to wood. You know, when I gotta climb a, a big nasty hill, I'll switch over to gasoline for a little bit. So, turn the fuel pump on. It's gonna start running rich. There it is. Pull out the air valve. Close down the wood. Back on gasoline. Now to switch back to wood gas. Fuel pump off. Wood gas open. We're gonna wait for it to start running out of gasoline here in a minute.